All right, so a popular topic these days is whether you're a sex addict or not, how do you know? Well, I really love the uh, SAA, Am I a Sex Addict, a webpage. It's got 12 questions on it that help us to understand whether we've got an issue with our, with our sexual behaviors or not. And so I'm just going to kind of go through those. So uh, bear with me, I'm going to read them, and then you can determine whether or not you're a sex addict or not. So here we go. Do you keep secrets about your sexual behavior or romantic fantasies from those important to you? Do you lead a double life? The second one, have your desires driven you to have sex in places or with people you would not normally choose? Number three, do you need greater variety, increased frequency, or more extreme sexual activities to achieve the same level of excitement or relief? Number four, does your use of pornography occupy large amounts of time and or jeopardize your significant relationships or employment? Five, do your relationships become distorted with sexual preoccupation? Does each new relationship have the same destructive pattern which prompted you to leave the last one? Number six, do you frequently want to get away from a partner after having sex? Do you feel remorse, shame, or guilt? after a sexual encounter. Number seven, have your sexual practices caused you legal problems? Could your sexual practices cause you legal problems? Number eight, do your does your pursuit of sex or sexual fantasy conflict with your moral standards or interfere with your personal spiritual journey? Nine, do your sexual activities involve coercion, violence, or the threat of disease? 10. Has your sexual behavior or pursuit of sexual relationships ever left you feeling hopeless, alienated from others, or suicidal? 11. Does your preoccupation with sexual fantasies cause problems in any area of your life, even when you do not act out your fantasies? And the last one here is 12. Do you compulsively avoid sexual activity due to fear of sex or intimacy? Does your sexual avoidance consume you mentally? And then what I love at the bottom of this uh, webpage, it says, if you answered yes to more than one of these questions, we encourage you to seek help. And you can reach out to SAA. You can reach out to SA. Um, so that's Sex Addicts Anonymous and then Sexaholics Anonymous. And, and uh, hopefully uh, you can find a meeting and individuals there who will, who will help you. So.